This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Hello guys, are you ready to laugh? Well, I just feel really silly singing this song, but this is another one like the first song and what we spoke about yesterday to remind us to be grateful and thankful for the things we do have. Make, I don't know if you remember this. <laughs> okay, it's called Making Melodies. One, two, three. Uh, you got your copy when I say uh, arms up, then you put your arms up. If I say bums out, then you put your bums out. Okay, okay. I am making melodies in my heart. I am making melodies in my heart. I am making melodies, making melodies, making melodies in my heart. And thumbs up. I am making melodies in my heart. I am making melodies in my heart. I am making melodies, making melodies to the king of kings. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Uh, knees together, knees together. I am making, you got to glue them together, guys. I am making melodies in my heart. I am making melodies in my heart. I am making melodies. Making melodies, making melodies in my heart. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Knees together, knees together. Bums out, bums out. I am making melodies in my heart. I am making melodies in my heart. I am making melodies, making melodies. I am making melodies in my heart. Phew! Stretch your body while you can. Okay, thumbs up, thumbs up. Uh, knees together, knees together. Bums out, bums out. Tongues out. Tongues out. I am making melodies in my heart. Ah, well done, guys. We're going to read first today, guys, before we have a little chat. It's called a monologue, when one person talks. Monologue, three syllables. That <laughs> means it's just me talking. I miss you guys in the ring. Oh, I miss hearing all your exciting stories and watching you dance and sing and play your games. So, we're going to read our story first today, guys. So find your comfy story spot and then we're going to have a little chat about the story afterwards because this story is another reminder about how we be grateful for what we do have. Instead of moaning all the time about what we don't have and what we don't like, letting those grouches in. Where are those grouches, actually? Here they are. We want to be thankful and let the loveses in. Can you see them? No one will let... I don't like being locked inside. Ah, but you can... Do all sorts of new things, all sorts of things. Let's read our story. Right. Little Bear and the Wish Fish by Debbie Gliori. Illustrated by Francis Lincoln. The bears of Papana River Valley led a charmed life. Can they see the pictures, cameraman? Um... When it was raining, they fished. When it was snowing, they hunted. When the sun shone, they sunbathed. Life was just peachy. And yet, for the bears, 
the weather was never quite right. They complained when it rained, it's too wet. They complained when it snowed, it's too cold. They even complained when the sun came out. Oh, it's too hot. The weather makers were not amused. The rain dancer and sun blazer and the snow maker were doing their best to make perfect weather for bears, but all they heard in return were loud moans and groans and grouches. So, the rain dancer, the sun blazer and the snowmaker decided to teach those bears a lesson they would never forget. First, they caught a fish upstream of the bear cave. Next, they gave the fish the power to grant wishes. Last of all, they released the fish, slippity, slithery, slippity, back into the river near the bear cave. When the bears woke up next morning, they couldn't see out of their cave for mist. Wow, said Little Bear. Where are you, dear? called Medium Bear. You need to wear your rain-soaked suit with five zippers if you're going out. This mist is dismal, moaned Big Bear. I wish it would snow. <clears throat> Straight away, a blizzard began to bombard the valley. The sky turned a grim grey and Gale whipped up the river into ragged, jaggy icebergs. The wish fish held in a sheltered shallow, held, held in a, hid in a sheltered shallow. Wow, said Little Bear. Oh dear, fussed Medium Bear. Now you need to put on your snowsuit with 40 poppers if you're going out. The snow is horrible, moaned Big Bear. I wish it would be sunny. Immediately, all the snow melted away and the, and the grass was singed brown. The river dried up to a muddy trickle and the wish fish flipped and flopped in a puddle outside the bear cave. Wow! shouted Little Bear. Now I'm boiling, moaned mm. Big Bear. I wish I didn't have all this fur. Oh no! <laughs> and I'm so sticky, moaned Medium Bear. I wish we lived in the Arctic Ocean. <gasps> oh, glub! Their wishes are coming true from the wish fish. I wish you two would stop moaning and leave me alone, said Little Bear crossly. <gasps> oh, help! No sooner said than done, Little Bear found himself floating all alone in the Arctic Ocean. There was nothing but water and ice all around. Not a medium bear or a big bear in sight. Little Bear was miserable. I'm always grouch. I'm cold and wet, he moaned. I'm lonely, he moaned. I wish... The wish fish surfaced beside him. Listen, kid, it said. Get it right this time and no more moaning. One last wish and that's it. Little Bear thought hard. Waves slapped his muzzle. He nearly wished that he wouldn't, but he stopped himself. Uh, he nearly wished that they wouldn't, but he stopped himself just in time. The ice froze his head into a furry popsicle. He nearly wished for a woolly hat, but he stopped himself just in time. Little Bear wasn't a very good swimmer, and his fur was heavy. He began to sink. He nearly wished for a life jacket. Then suddenly he knew what to wish for. I wish 
I lived in a cave by a river with big and medium bear, and weather that snowed sometimes, rained occasionally, and was sunny more often than not. And whoosh! The bears of Papana River Valley had their charmed life once more. Big Bear's fur grew back eventually. Medium Bear decided that the Arctic Ocean was for polar bears, not cave bears. And Little Bear taught them both never to complain again. Because, after all, life was peachy. I think there's one more page. Ah, oh, there's all the weather the angels. So you see, just like we were talking about, guys, it's best to be happy with what we've got, isn't it? Instead of like today is a cloudy day. Oh, I want the sun. We can make use of the cloudy day. We can do lots of gardening because it's not too hot. Always something good to do instead of complaining. But you piglets know that. We love the lovesers, don't we? Remember to let those lovesers into your mind. Mine, oh, and how are you doing with finding three things to be grateful for every day? Mine today is my beautiful vegetable, fruit and herb garden. And all, and my two sons, very helpful hands. And my cats for making me laugh. Those are my three things. Just put, I could also go along and on and on and on. Got so much to be grateful for. Um, I thought another nice art project, while you're thinking of something to be grateful for, would be, it's called a, a dream board where you cut out all sorts of things that make you happy from any magazines. And if you need magazines, guys, I've got hundreds at school. You know that. If you need to borrow scissors or glue. Remember all your mommies and daddies sent glue? So, and cut out pictures that make you happy, even if it's just a colour that makes you smile, or letters or anything you like. And cover your big paper with all the pictures that make you happy and all things that you would like in your life. Maybe it's a beautiful garden. Then find a picture of a pretty garden and stick it on your paper. And then you pin it up somewhere, next to your bed even, where you can look at it often and help your dreams to come true. Because good dreams can come true. So, that would be a nice project and maybe we can all show each other online or keep them until we all come back to school in a few weeks' time. And dream big, my beautiful piggies. And thanks for coming, guys. Always so, so beautiful to see you. And I love, 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 love you because, why? Because you're you.